All right, let's check out our new uh, Fleetwood Newport Highlander. It's a high-sided pop-up, and uh, it's pretty sweet. So let's just do an exterior tour. You've got uh, fridge down there and the vent for the fridge up there. Got our nice little uh, grill here, which is cool. It's got a little quick connect uh, gas line. Alloy wheels are 14s, 205, 75s. Um, hard sided, I believe it's laminated. It's pretty nice. It's not just uh, strips of tin over plywood. This is the Newport model, so one of the things I really like about this one, you'll see right here. Pull out storage. This thing is probably about six feet long and uh, it's gonna be full of stuff. You can see we've got her perfectly level right now. All right, and uh, we got the gas bottles here. Nice thing the previous owner did is he uh, had a custom enclosure made, which I like. Diamond plate matches the diamond plate. You got twin 20 pound bottles in there. And uh, okay, so over on the other side here, you have a lockable storage. It's uh, the smaller side of that pullout, but we've got a nice little sort of tool shed, garage type thing in here, full of all the hoses and adapters and all that type of stuff. Cable TV, 30 amp. Uh, plug in there, you've got a furnace. I don't know how many BTUs, uh, but it, it, it's good. Uh, you've got an exterior shower. There's your furnace exhaust. This is the uh, where you pull the cassette out for the toilet, which we'll see in a second, and some various drains and vents over here. King size bed in the front and the back, and one of the things that the previous owner did, which I love, he bolted a receiver onto the end so I can put my bikes and stuff on there. Great idea, such a good idea. All right, let's head in. The uh, canvas is in great shape. I like that they have, you know, there's umbrella. that's a great sell. Uh, and then they got some real nice thick uh, vinyl there too. So it seems to be very well made. The stabilizer jacks are no joke. They're not just some little garbage. Um, they really do a good job. You do have a pull out step here. And uh, this is how you would lock the door. You just close this and then there's a key lock with a deadbolt for this part. All right. Let's go in, we'll turn on all the lights. And there's some master switches and then there are some overheads that you have to turn on manually. Um, so this is the kid's side over here. And again, king, si king sized beds on both sides. Uh, so there is the one and there is the other. I'll go ahead and turn these lights on as well. One of the things that I like about this is how they use coaxial cables uh, to, to power certain 12 volt things. Seems pretty safe, you know, even a kid could do it. So I'm going to lay down here so hopefully you can get a perspective uh, for just how big this camper is. It's a really good sized pop-up. And here are those little fan light combos. They're not quiet, they need a little oiling. <laughs> So yeah, you've got the dinette here, which of course folds down to a bed. All your power stuff, your electrical is all under there. It does charge the battery uh, when it's plugged in to the house. Uh, you've got a very large storage here, uh, down here, a stereo, Bluetooth, uh, fully wired with speakers and all that. We've been heating it just with this little fake uh, fireplace here, which is pretty funny. Um, definitely enough, you know, if it's like 50, 55 degrees out. Yeah, any colder than that, you're probably going to want to run the propane. But that's been working really nicely. The fake flames are just hilarious. From the outside, it looks like something's on fire. <laughs> um, underneath the um, master bed, which first of all has gosh, six or eight inch thick cush cushions. They're very comfortable. Uh, but you flip that up, and you've got storage under here for all your bedding. And then 
Uh, over here, you've just got like a little sock drawer type of thing. And then, you know, the master uh, closet, or yeah, this is where you'd put your clothes and stuff. So you have a cable TV there. Lots of outlets in here, which is fantastic. Um, you got little bookshelf storage here. Um, we are fully outfitted. We've got a three burner stove. We've also got an oven, so we can have cookies while we're camping. Uh, over on this side here, you've got a pretty good sized single basin. Um, and a, just a ridiculous amount of counter space for a camper, let alone a pop-up camper. Uh, this is the, the chef's kitchen, I guess. Uh, you've got a nice microwave here and a three-way fridge. It actually runs uh, on AC, gas, and also DC, which I don't know how that works. It seems like you would, um, I don't know, burn your battery up pretty quickly. Uh, it's a three cubic foot refrigerator, so not, not exactly small. Uh, over here on this side, you've got another cable TV outlet, so you can have your TV over here, uh, or you could have it kind of over there. Um, more outlets, more speakers, and we have a switch here, which is the overhead light for the bathroom, which is a pretty interesting addition for a pop-up camper. All right, and so you've got a... Uh, there's the shower head on the floor there, and then pulling the curtain back here. And then over here, you've got the cassette style toilet, um, which I almost see as a as a plus over having to deal with a black tank. Uh, you know, you don't have to bring it to the dump station and pull hoses out. It can just be popped up. If you fill the cassette, you can pull it out, go deal with it either in the toilet or the dump station or whatever you want to do. Um, but you don't have to break the camper down and tow it somewhere to get rid of the black tank. So I think that's actually pretty good. We'll probably never shower in it, but it is cool that you have a hard-sided, hard-doored bathroom in this pop-up. Um, so that about wraps it up. This thing's 2,800 pounds dry, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, and you've got uh, a seven-foot ceiling height, so it's almost residential feeling in here with, you know, as far as space goes, overhead space. Um, and same with the counter space. Uh, you can really, you can have your coffee makers and all your uh, toaster or whatever set out there, um, and it won't be in the way. There's so much room. Uh, so yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. I'm almost thinking about reducing the size of this or maybe taking it out altogether so that I can put a floor standing air conditioner there. That seems like it would work really well because you could just take the exhaust and sort of, I don't know, maybe shoot it out here behind the door or something. Um, but that would be nice down in the Carolinas and whatnot. So yeah, that's what we got. It's a Fleetwood Highlander Newport 2005.